So I found this place uh, on the way to Khao Yai uh, in the uh, northeast, I think it is, uh, on the way to Akasho. And uh, I thought I'd stop in and have a look around and see what he's got. And he, this guy collects everything. He just does a bit of everything. Yeah. Throws stuff together. It's pretty cool. All the number plate collection. Oh, Yamaha. Oh, really? The old Quacker. GTX. Opal. Pretty cool. Oh, bikes on the top. In front of uh, Jeeps by the looks, front grills. More bikes. In front of a, a Merc, I think. I'm not sure what that is. It's got a bit of everything. In front of a Merc there as well. A man cave. It's incredible. A telephone box. Probably still works as well. And these are engines out of their uh, their uh, river boats that they've got. Check out this uh, this beast behind here. How many people could you fit on there? Probably ten. Suzu. It's all timber framed on the tray. Doors are timber. The whole lot's are timber. So this is their uh, their dining area. Pretty cool. And the steering wheels in there. What a collection. Some more steering wheels. Got a menu. Got something. Drinks. I'll give this guy some uh, some money uh, for letting me look around. Radiator fans, steering wheels everywhere. Volkswagen, it's got a VVTi 2 litre. How cool is this? I've never seen anything like it. Is that an old scat or something? Our old Chevy, it's four wheel drive as well. Still got the engine in it. Look at the old Ford, Bedford. So the Overlander kit going on. Spring over. That looks pretty safe. A bit rusty. It's old Merc. It's pretty nice. Lowered. Blacked out rims. It's got a bit of everything here. Starter motors. This guy's got everything. A bunch of Jeeps over there in the back of that. Another Jeep here. Hino motor. Hino, however you pronounce them. Come around the front here. It's 
another one of those uh, trucks. Very old school. How's yeah, this old uh, old dump truck? It's just about to walk past it. I'm not sure what that is. A bit incomplete. That <laughs> Bedford though. <laughs> What are these? I'm not sure. Leave us a comment if you know what they are. Looks familiar. Look all these old Jeeps. He loves them. An old tuk tuk up there. And how is the ship? Model ship that he's got up there. That's pretty cool. Oh. Get a load of that. Left-hand drive, didn't even see that, walking through before, old truck there. Is that an old Anglia? I'm not sure. How cool has he made this place? Look at his Christmas tree. made here. Fair enough. Another telephone box. Just spotted these wheels on it. Cool. It's a mini, mini truck. How is that? Oh, Landy. Seen better days. And this is what caught my eye. What is going on here? Looks like something a Land Rover owner would do. Pretty good suspension setup, framework. Just joking. Very different, just to get a bit of lift out of it. That's only for looks. Still fairly complete inside. Got some seats all the way back there. Be good for people like myself with uh, long legs. Should be able to reach fine. So yeah, what an amazing place. Not sure of the name, but there's something I saw on the way. I'll call in. if he's got YouTube so he can uh, subscribe to my channel and uh, I'll give him some money this thing just spins me up a barber chair or something what else has he got a couple more things over here cool Girls here too. Wow. What is that? It's 
it's uh, murk down here as well. I'll go for a quick look down here. It's nice and cool, 31 today. Not too much humidity at all. It's like a wrecking business, I think. I don't know if this is a part of his. Probably isn't. Nah. Just uh, bits and pieces. Jet skis. Engines. Well, these are gearboxes. Bit of everything here. Yeah. Anyways, the things that you find in Thailand, it's, uh, it's pretty cool, pretty cool to see. Um, in this video here, I uh, hope you enjoyed that, so uh, I'll keep covering these interesting places while we're uh, gallivanting around Thailand. It's, it's great fun, love it, love it.